out of the Kansas City Chiefs tonight, too. Major departure. You saw Mike Tomlin, 10th year. Never had a losing season. Trying to get into the championship game here. Roethlisberger, that shoulder shake, once again fires wide open, making the catch at the 30-yard line. Again, it's Jesse James. Heath Miller retired, and Ladarius Green had been brought in from San Diego, but he has been on the shelf much of the year with injuries. 16-yard gain. Let's talk about this offensive line for a moment. This group has really gelled into one of the top pass-blocking offensive lines in all the National Football League. If they don't get more pressure than this on Ben Roethlisberger, this thing will be over quickly. They're very happy, of course, to have Houston back. Even hurt a good part of the season, second and four. Bell, with that patience, that's become so prominent, so many stories told about him and how different he is to the 14-yard line first down. Now, here's what's going on here. Ron Parker, their typical back in the middle of the field safety, they're so worried about Le'Veon Bell in coverage, they're bringing him down as a linebacker, but now you've got to deal with Marquise Pouncey blocking. Crowd gets cranked up, and the offensive lineman can't hear her as well. We'll see if they can get a quick jump off the ball. Third and ten, and here they come, and Ben almost gets sacked. Fires deep downfield and getting open and making the catch over his shoulder is Antonio Brown. Live by the sword and die by the sword. They blitzed. They almost got Ben. He hangs in there and then fires downfield to as good a receiver as you'll see. You will not believe what you're about to see out here. Justin Houston is one-on-one. -on -one. An outside linebacker one-on-one -on -one against arguably the best receiver in the game. Give him a little credit. At least he gets him on the ground. The blitz didn't work, and they paid a heavy price. Here's the blitz. They're going to bring everybody after Ben Roethlisberger. Everybody comes off of this side. It looks like it's going to happen. Tom Bali could not grab the foot of Ben Roethlisberger. And if you don't get him on the blitz, Ben's going to get you. And the Chiefs were able to start a drive at the 45-yard line and go all the way in for a touchdown. This time, Bill's going to have a chance. Crowd buzzing from the one-yard line. And oh. Great coverage there. That is Vince Williams, number 98. Says, not on my watch. Vince Williams was rocketing down the field. A linebacker that no way is he the fastest guy on this kickoff cover team and yet he was the first one down the field you talk about passion that paying all that attention opens up other opportunities extra offensive lineman John Reed comes into the game here and they run the play fake Smith gets hit as he throws and the ball up in the air is picked off at the 45 yard line Ryan Shazier comes up with it Bud Dupree came in Smith got jarred as he released it, and Dupree forces the interception. Bud Dupree has simply been red hot of late. He is finally fulfilling exactly what they thought he could be as an outside linebacker. They bring in the extra offensive lineman, Ja Reed, and it was Bud Dupree who beats him cleanly around the edge, and there is the break that the Pittsburgh Steelers have been looking for. For Shazier, that is four interceptions in his last four games. The last two in the regular season. Had one last week. Has one tonight. And he saw Smith bringing out his arm. So he may have paid a price on that as well. Might get to college in the NFL too. The way he's going. Now from the 31. Roethlisberger that pump fake and fires. That's caught. Jesse James to the five-yard line. So Jesse James has already caught four passes for 60 yards tonight. First and goal, Pittsburgh. They're going to fake the quick screen out to Antonio Brown. Everybody comes flying up. And then Jesse James, instead of blocking, turns up the field and comes up with a big play. From the five. Already 213 yards gained by the Steelers. Frank Smith in the backfield. Smith 
to West. Then he drops it, and it's recovered by Pittsburgh at the 41-yard line, but by the time Pittsburgh gets possession of the ball, there's only three seconds remaining. But that's enough, of course, for one number seven to throw the ball into the end zone. Kendrick West just trying to reposition the ball, lost it, and you assume, I don't know if they're even going to try a field goal that long. What would be about 58 yards? But in Chicago and Kansas City, he has done magnificent work over a decade and a half. And Travis Kelsey, the tight end, now standing back in the end zone for the Chiefs. Well, he's going to throw it to Brown. And Antonio Brown is going to get tackled at the 11-yard line as time expires. So the only touchdown of the half belongs to Kansas City. But the lead belongs to Pittsburgh. 12-7 Steelers at the break coming up next Toyota halftime after these messages from your NBC station. So far the Chiefs haven't been able to execute the game plan with Bell running for over 100 yards in the first half. All right, Heather, here is Bell and he's got a lot more here. Look at him off to the races again before he gets dragged down. He's still going and dragged down to the 36-yard line. Ramik Wilson, the linebacker. Runs him down finally, and that is a gain of 38 yards to the 36 yard line. This line is getting displaced. These double teams are moving guys back, so these linebackers just can't find a spot to come through there. And Le'Veon Bell is so slow to the hole, it's giving this bigger, better offensive line from Pittsburgh a chance to displace and move the defensive line of the Chiefs. He is Typically the go-to guy you know, set off just to the right. In the slot, five receivers. Four-man rush, and that's enough. And there's James Harrison. Gets the sack back to the 49-yard line, fourth and long. I, I don't know how you beat Father Time, but this guy has. At age 38, He's been the best player on the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. Let's just tell exactly how it is. He's their leading sacker. He spends $350,000 a year taking care of his body. Some of the most bizarre acupuncture, dry puncture, cupping, whatever it is that anybody can put in front of him, he does it, and he's playing great. 1000 bucks a day, 512 to go in the third. Harrison gets the sack. Another one, 15-7, Steelers. This quarter from their own 31-yard line. Pay attention to Eric Berry on the defensive side. He is their playmaker. And a lot of big ones this year. And that's caught over the middle. After the 45 goes Eli Rogers for a Pittsburgh first down. An offensive line coached by a Hall of Famer, Mike Munchak. What a job he's done with these guys as Roethlisberger pump fakes, fires over the middle, and then is caught, and then is Jesse James, who gets unbelievably free and takes it to the 21-yard line. Right down the middle for Jesse James, having a big night. Five catches for 83 yards. That one good for 23. The dreaded pump fake from Ben Roethlisberger. Everybody jumped to the underneath coverage because that's where he pumped, and then Jesse James wide open in behind it. There is nobody in this league that does that pump fake like Ben Roethlisberger. I can't believe the ball doesn't come out of his hand. Travis Kelsey all night long has been trying to work his way open against these two inside linebackers. Not a lot of luck. There's Lawrence Timmons running with him down the field. And of course, we've seen this one now a few times. Cost his team 15 yards. And there's his speedster, Tyreek Hill on the outside. This is a Pittsburgh defense that has only allowed two touchdown passes thrown to receivers more than 20 yards beyond the line of scrimmage all season. That's the lowest total in the NFL. Kelsey on the left side as well. Smith to try to tie it. It is batted away in the end zone. Sean Davis who is guilty of that helmet to helmet. Busts it up, intended for Macklin. Two point game, 243 left. Meanwhile, it comes down to this. It's a third down and three. Ball to 12. If they convert, 
It's all but over. Cannot jump off sides here. Roethlisberger serving. Buying time. Throws. Caught. Brown. At the 19 yard line, Antonio Brown. First catch of the second half. Wow. Antonio Brown just too fast. He's going to come across. You're going to see Justin Houston drop underneath this thing. And he's right there. He's right in the throwing lane. Ben saw him, bought enough time for Bell to work around him, or Antonio Brown to work around him, and converted the biggest third down of the season. And they can run it out. So Brown, who had five catches in the first half, was blanked in the second half, and the Pittsburgh Steelers can begin to think about Foxborough.